I think when it comes to shooting real estate video, the number one question that is asked everywhere on the internet is how do you actually land real estate gigs? What's that? Let's get into it. I just did it again. What's good, creative fam? Brandon Washington here. And today we're gonna be talking about how you actually go about landing a real estate gig. Now, here is the number one thing when it comes to shooting real estate, and that is real estate agents need to see other real estate videos that you've done. That's pretty much all there is to it. Now, I will tell you from the last four or five years that I've been shooting real estate, that when it comes to showing a real estate agent that you are qualified to shoot their listing, they need to see something very similar to the listing that they wanna hire you for. Now, I know this isn't the case with all real estate agents, but my history has shown me that if you show a real estate agent maybe another commercial video that you've done, they really don't see how that translates over into real estate. However, if you can show them that you have shot a $1.5 million house before, and they need you to shoot a $1.5 million house, they're more likely to trust you to shoot their home because they understand that they pretty much only have one shot to sell this house and that they put a ton of energy, time, and money into trying to sell the house and it doesn't sell, it's pretty much a wash for them. So how do you go about getting these listings? Well, obviously, it starts with shooting something and typically, our first shoot is not gonna work out where we're gonna get paid for it. So how do you shoot your first house for free the smart way? So the first option you have is just to shoot your own house. Now, obviously this is gonna depend on your home, but one thing I wanna keep in mind, let's say your house isn't really that nice, or it has parts of it that are nice and then parts of it that haven't been updated. Well, you don't need to showcase the entire house. You really just need to have a good shot out front, a shot of the backyard, a good shot of your kitchen, the living room area, maybe the master, and maybe a couple of the little bonus areas. But remember, if you're shooting your own house, you don't have to shoot every bedroom. At the end of the day, your goal is just to shoot a house to be able to show the agent. But I know what you're thinking. Well, Brandon, I don't have a multi-million dollar house, but the houses that I wanna shoot are multi-million dollar houses or they're very high-end homes. How do I go about shooting those homes for free the smart way? The trick to finding those homes is actually to leave real estate altogether. That's right, hear me out. You want to look for Airbnbs. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but hear me out for just a second. You have two options at getting these types of houses. The first option is to reach out to an Airbnb host to see if they would like a high-end real estate video for their Airbnb. Now, obviously Airbnb is just one site. Back in the day, this is exactly how I got started. Other than the fact that Airbnb didn't exist, there was a website called HomeAway, which might still exist, I don't actually know anymore, but I basically went to these rental houses in order to shoot my first set of listing videos. This was a great way for me to go about it. Now, by going through a site like Airbnb, you get options galore. There are so many houses at different price points and you can get your hands on these houses and shoot them. Now, the second little kind of finagling tip you can do there is if you are really adamant about shooting a high-end home, just rent the Airbnb. Now, I know this is gonna cost you a little bit of money, but if you could pay maybe $200 for the night to get access to a really nice house to shoot, because it's an Airbnb, you know it's gonna be clean, you know it's gonna be furnished, and it's gonna look amazing. Plus, you get a chance to look at pictures before you even shoot the house to make sure it's the right one for you. So using a site like Airbnb is a great place to start. Invest a little money like you did with all your camera gear into shooting a really good video of a really nice house. Now another way you can go about doing this is to look for model homes. Now when I say model homes, typically if you go into like some suburban areas or you go onto like builder websites, you can find locations where builders have set up their homes for people to come and look at to determine if they wanna buy that same house. It's because model homes, man I'm saying model homes a lot. 
Model homes are always nicely set up. They typically have all of the high-end finishes. They typically are already staged with furniture. And on top of that, builders need listing videos for these model homes. Now you're not giving your service free away to a real estate agent who maybe doesn't have the perfect listing for you, but you also get a nice high-end home that's gonna look good in your demo reel or ultimately what you show off to other real estate agents to start to gain business. So those are three ways that you can go about shooting a listing video from scratch to start to land your first real estate job. Now, obviously when it comes to getting that real estate job, you need to crush it with this video. So that way the agent sees it and then trusts you to do their business. Now, if you wanna know how to actually go about reaching out to agents, you should definitely check out the other video that I did. I'll have it linked up above in the card somewhere up here, where I actually go through how to find the proper agents at the right price point and how to actually go about reaching out to them. I strongly recommend you check out that video. But if you're not really sure how to actually shoot listing videos and make them look good and professional, I have something for you. I actually just released an entire training course all about how to shoot real estate video. Right now, if you go to the site, you might be able to catch the early bird pricing because the course is going to be coming out in just a few weeks. Once the course comes out, obviously the price will go back up to its original price, but right now I have it set for a sale of over $100 off, so I strongly recommend you go check out that course for the early bird pricing. Early bird, bird, early bird pricing. That's right. But there you have it guys. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Again, make sure you check out the links to the course down below in the description and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.